the rum and the finest tobacco and the hearts of the sailors set for home. Runs cold in every sea captain who looks upon that flag, but he knows he's facing a fight to the death. But Sir Francis is a haddock, and haddocks don't flee. All hands on deck! Others to their stations! Let's unload the king shot into these yellow bellied, lily livered sea slugs. Prepare to bring her about, Mr. Nickel. Aye, aye, Captain! Prepare to bring her about! You are, sir. Prepare to repair all borders! Everything Grandaddy told me. The unicorn was taken. The pirates were now masters of the ship. The crew surrendered? Grandaddy said that Red Rackham called Sir Francis the King's dog. A pirate hunter sent to reclaim their hard won plunder. Why would I waste my time on rum, tobacco, molasses, and dates? when you have a more valuable cargo on board. Where is it? You'll have to kill me first. Not first, no. I'll start with your men. To save his men, he would give up the secret cargo. And where was it?
four hundred way of gold, jewels, and treasure. Kill his men! No rattle! No! no! from the highest yard arm. But they didn't reckon on one thing. Sir Francis was a haddock. And a haddock always has a trick up his sleeve. That he hurls himself forward. On the pirates? Like that? Unarmed? No. No, on a bottle of rum rolling on the deck, and he opens it up <laughs> and puts it to his lips. And... and then he stops. This is no time for drinking, he says. I need all my wits about me. With that, he puts down the bottle and. Yes, yes, sir. He puts down the bottle and. Uh, and he sees it's a callus. Then he makes his way to the ship's magazine, where they keep all the gunpowder and the shot. You, dog! You blow us sky high! Oh, come on, then! Let's have you! Not this time! upon you and your name, Haddock. He wants vengeance. Come back and face me. Hurry, Tintin. What? We're out of time. Captain! Never over. I don't understand. Who's after your blood? 